Hi, everyone. How you going? Give us a thumbs up if you can hear me all right. Kobe, Raf, Chase, how you going? Hi, Aaron. How are you? Great to see you. Mia, Taylor, we got Alex. Good job. Eleanor, great to see so many of you today. Thanks, Izzy. Audrey, Fletch, how you going? Got Beth Hi. and Sienna. Hi, Alex. How you doing, mate? All right, we'll get started very shortly, guys. You'll just need to grab, uh, you will need a yoga mat. If you're outdoors, brilliant. I wish I was outdoors right now, but I've got to stay at the front of the house here. I was going to try and set up out in the sun, but um, if you've got a yoga mat or somewhere, uh, you know, a little bit more forgiving on your joints, that's probably ideal. Uh, if we've got any new uh, new people today, any new uh, any new participants i don't think we do maybe maybe a couple of new newcomers over the weekend um today's session is uh mobility focus so flex is in flexibility um i hope you weren't thinking flex is in we were just going to do bicep workouts um oh good job izzy uh, yeah hopefully you didn't think we were just going to do bicep workouts but uh you guys can do that after if you like. We're going to do some mobility. So I can see a few of you already set up on your mat. So without further ado, this session will only go for about half an hour. It went for about 45 last week, but I had to go over our um, each of our exercises uh, in a bit more detail because it was our first session. So let's get cracking. Foam roller, if you've got one. If you don't have a foam roller, that's okay. So we're going to grab a foam roller. We're going to grab our yoga mat. You don't have to, if you're on the carpet like me, you don't have to have a yoga mat but I'm going to chuck mine out or I'm going to keep it nearby. So I've got my laptop. So if you see me looking off to the side here, it's because I've got you guys on the screen here. It's a much bigger screen than the iPad. I can see you all, give you all a bit of feedback. Okay. So with our foam rolling, what we're doing, we're going to do our glute first. I'll move back so you can see me. For those that are new this week, you really just want to get one, you know, I'm going to say it, inappropriate or not, one bum cheek. <laughs> One of your glutes, one butt cheek on that uh, on that roller there, okay? So you've got to lean. I'm going to start with my right leg, so I'm going to lean to my right slightly. If you want a little bit of an extra stretch just to really lengthen that muscle out, put your right leg up on your left knee. Good, Max. Good stuff. Good, Taylor. Good, Raf. Chase. Perfect. HG, see you guys are back again. Good to see you. And your lules. Oh, so we're just back and forth five times on each muscle. So I'm going to go to my left glute now. Back and forth on each muscle should be plenty. Great to see so many of you here today as well. You know, we got huge numbers in week one and probably um, approximately, I think, about 70 kids per session, which is pretty, pretty crazy. Um, I really didn't expect that many of you to come back to this session. <laughs> I thought mobility. Once they find out it's not biceps, um, I didn't think there was going to be many of you back. So thank you for um, jumping back in because um, it is really important mobility and foam rolling in particular. The, the, um, that's my glutes done. I'm going to go to ITBs now. So down the side. So from the side of my knee down to my hip, ITB. Don't ask me to pronounce how it, I think it's iliotibial band, iliotibial band. Um, yeah, we had a few questions about the foam rolling tutorial. That is now up um, on the sessions you can do from home. So Jay Ellis, our strength and conditioning coordinator, put that video together during the last lockdown. So that's a really good, just a tutorial on a little bit more about the technique. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend too much time on the technique each week. Good job, Taylor, using a basketball. I love that. You can use a basketball if you don't have a foam roller. Um, an old import I used to play with used a basketball and he was a big, great big giant of a man and the basketball looked like a football when he was lying on top of it. Um, let's go to quads and we'll work our way around our legs now. So it's sort of roll from the side to the front. So we're working on that right quad or you might be on your left. If you've got any questions, guys, with all of these sessions, because I'm going to move pretty quickly through the exercises, just jump on the uh, chat or, or feel free to switch your microphone on. Oh, beautiful day today. So hopefully we can get some mobility in. I'm going to go to my other quad. So I'm on my left leg now. Hopefully we can get some mobility in and then that'll give you guys a heap of freedom and movement and energy to go get some shots up outside if you've got a hoop. Get out and make the most of the weather. It's a ripper day. Oh, sorry, Colton. <laughs> sorry, mate. You don't have a foam roller, bugger. Do you have a basketball? Try and use your basketball. 
Grab a basketball. If you don't have a foam roller, I'll, I've got a flat. I'll show you guys. Keep going. So go to your other ITB now. So we're on the other, other side of our leg. So it's that really painful one. Remember to breathe through it. Uh, I left my basketball outside. I've got a flat one. So it'll look like it'll look like I'm enormous because I'm going to squish this ball, but I'm not that big. So if you're using a basketball, you can use it pretty much the same way. It still has the same lifts in it um obviously you probably don't use your best basketball <laughs> try and use a uh, an older outdoor ball so we're doing our left itb now kobe's doing the uh what we used to call the bone saw the front of the shin there careful with that one mate we're doing our upper legs and then we're going to do our calves so that i'm on my left itb now you guys should have done that let's roll over and quickly do a hammy not do a hammy, but let's loosen our hammy. Who can remember from last week, if anyone is close enough to their um, microphone to chuck their mic on, who can remember what we're actually um, what we're actually massaging? Like, what's it called? The like muscles. It, like, muscles that you need to, like... Oh. Yeah, mu muscles is not the wrong answer. I, I knew that was going to be one of them. It's, it's actually... Does anyone know? It's a, it's a bit of a... The pencil with... part. Who was that, sorry? Colton. Yeah, what would you say? The tendon part? Pencil, the thing that you said about... Oh, that was the hammies. Yeah, I was using that as an example. Yeah, like a, if you imagine you grabbed a bunch of, ha uh, bunch of pencils and wrapped a lacquer band around them and then shimmied them around. So that was... If you're doing hammies, don't just go forward and back, but actually go side to side a little bit. That's a little trick. So actually rotate. Imagine like your upper thigh is like a rotisserie chicken and you're actually just going to try and rock from side to side. So you're going to get the left, the right, and you're moving across. Let's go to our calves. Now, the, the answer I was looking for, you're not, you, both of you are not wrong. Um, the answer I'm looking for is fascia, fascia. So you'll learn in PE. Some of you under 16s are probably learning already. The fascia is the tendon sheath that wraps around your muscles. Um, so it keeps all our muscles encased. And when you get DOMS or when you get a lot of lactic acid buildup, what, what that pain is from is it's actually the lactic acid or, or the byproducts of exercise, whatever it might be, the fluid pushing against the fascia. So you think you've got sore muscles. What you've actually got is a really minor form of inflammation just caused by very minor muscle damage by just overdoing it, by overexerting. So when, we, when we're when we doing foam rolling, we are massaging the muscles to some degree, Chase, but we're also, it's like having a, a rolling pin and we're rolling out that fascia, that tendon sheath. We're stretching that out so our muscles can move a bit more freely. All right, that's enough foam rolling, okay? We'll, we'll only ever spend probably five minutes on that each week, so we can chuck that away. Our first exercise is our hamstring floss. So those that remember that, we're on our back, we're doing 10 each leg. So what that looks like, for those that haven't done it before, flat back, one leg straight. So I'm going to go left leg straight here. That's closest to the camera and rest it on the ground. So it's not an ab workout. So rest that on the ground. I'm wrapping my hands, interlacing my fingers behind. I'm not at my knee. I'm not at my calf. I'm just below my knee here. Okay, so I'm just below my knee, sort of right before my hamstrings connecting um, to the back of my knee there. I'm lying flat, looking up at the roof, and I'm just straightening that leg as much as I possibly can, trying to keep, almost like I'm kicking a footy, but I'm doing that kicking the footy motion, like lying down. You should feel that stretch in the back of that hamstring. Again, do this to whatever level or whatever degree. You might need to bend your knee, and you might actually just get to there. You might only get to there. That's okay. Get to there. As long as you're feeling the stretch, don't push it and try and just think you have to get a straight leg. So we're 10 on each side. This is just a really good dynamic stretch. Anyone close to their microphone, who can tell me what the difference is between, what, what do I mean when I say dynamic stretch? Anyone? Some of you older guys definitely know it, but you won't turn Moving. your microphone on. Moving, who was that? Jamie. Jamie, well done, Jamie, yes. Yes, I love it. I've got Jamie Paxton. Good stuff, Jamie. Well done. Yep. So we're moving. So leg swings, hands, you know, leg swings across our body, leg swings, the hammies. 
anything moving, but movement based, but also lengthening the muscles is a dynamic one. Awesome, Jamie. Great to see you here again, mate. Awesome. All right, supine kickover. So we're on our lower, we're going to get a little bit of movement through our lower back here. I know you guys, you young guys don't probably feel like you need this that much, but it's a good habit to get into. I, I definitely need it. So we're lying down. We want our arms straight. I'm just going to point my camera down a bit more. Sorry. Let's get that down. Okay, so we're sort of a, an arms out, sort of like a cross pose here. We've got our right leg up and we're just rocking that leg across, trying to keep this off. This is my right leg going to my left side. I'm trying to keep my right shoulder down, definitely keeping my right palm down. Then I'm opening it up the other way. So right leg the whole time for 10. So I'm going across my body. Then I'm sort of stretching my groin out a little bit, across my body, groin. So from the side, what that looks like, it's here, my legs up, it comes to the camera and I feel that stretch in the lower back and then other way. And I try and sort of tap it to the ground whilst keeping my head, my shoulders and my palms down. And swap legs once you've done 10. You guys will start to get the hang of these exercises, but really good stuff. You can do this before a workout, uh, before a lift, before a shooting session. You could probably get through it in 15 minutes, realistically, if you weren't having to stop like I am. Okay, next one, we're moving on. How'd everyone go with that? Everyone's still going, a few still going. That's okay, yep, perfect. All right, this one's a P and F V sit. So this is one you can do with a partner. Good job, HG. You guys are in unison as well. That's awesome. Looks like synchronized swimming. Well done. So you guys will catch up when you see this. So P and F V sit. So what that looks like is I'm just I'm going as wide as I can with, with my legs. A bit hard to see here. I might sit the camera up there. See if it'll sit on that dead ball. Maybe not. Or maybe, yes. How good is that? So I'm as wide as I can with my legs here. So I'm in like a hamstring stretch position. I just gently reach forward. Okay, I don't want to, I have trouble doing it without rounding my back, but I want to reach my legs forward, try and touch as far forward as I can on the ground. And then I'm just going to roll back over the top and try and touch my feet to the ground behind me. Swing forward. So it's again, it's another one of those really dynamic mobility stretches. You might only get to here. You might be comfortable with that. And then rock back. We might go all the way back. You might have a really mobile spine. You might be able to get your feet or your knees to the ground. And then swing and roll forward. We're doing 10 of those. Good job, Max. Good, Taylor. Good job, guys. Good job, Cody. Nice work, Riley. Good job, Seth and uh, Sienna and Beth. Seth. <laughs> I called you Seth. Good job, Scout. And you see Nats, you, you, you're swinging your legs. It, it, it looks like a kicking competition between Mia and Amelia. Watch out there, Nick. I'd be, I'd, be, I'd be scared if I was you right now. I'd back those girls in a fight against you, I reckon, big fella. Okay, next one. So if you're finishing that off, that's okay. We're just going to keep moving through and you'll, you'll catch me demonstrating if you need it. Is a 90-90 hip opener. So what that means is we want a 90 degree angle. You guys can't quite see me. I'll move it back a little bit. That helps. Oh, it's too close up to Mossy's face, that's for sure. Okay, so 90-90. So what we've got, there goes my computer. What we've got here is 90 degrees with our with our right shin, okay, and our and our right upper leg, and also our left shin, but in a different shape. So it's sort of like a running man, but from the side. So if you thought of a lunge position. If you just brought it down to the ground, that's what it looks like, okay? And then we're going from there. We're trying to keep our feet in that position without rolling too much, and we're just rolling over. Now, we had some trouble. I think a few of you found that a bit uncomfortable last week. Maybe it was causing some pain. Not everyone's hips will allow them to do that, and you can just do a 90. You can just do whatever your, like, windshield wiper movement is, whatever your hips will allow you to do, okay? So rolling from... You know, inside of your right foot, outside of your left foot, roll it over. Now you're on the outside of your right, inside of your left. And just swinging 
knees side to side like that. You might not get all the way from 90 to 90. That's okay, don't stress. You can just start with your feet parallel like that and swing side to side. That's gonna do a pretty similar thing, working our hip through a full range of motion. Perfect, good stuff. So we've got 10 of those. Hip flexor tilt, hop up. So we're just on our knee now. So we're in a half kneeling position. So like, again, we come, like we've come to a lunge, but we've rested our knee down in this position here. Okay. Remember with all these exercises, you can get to a position that you might think is really stretching your hip or your calf or whatever, but you might just actually be forcing the muscle or the joint into position. We don't want that. Um, don't force the joint into positions. Let the muscles guide them into position. So again, in this position, we actually want to fire our glute. So I've got my right knee down, my left foot flat. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit my butt back a little bit, and then I'm gonna come forward. I want to make sure my abs and my core are switched on, and I'm just gonna squeeze that right glute. And that is going to ensure that I'm stretching that hip flexor. And I'm not just like if I wanted to come out of this posture. So I let my abs relax and I arch my back and I just want to push my hip forward as far as I can like that just to get as much movement. Now I know from practice, I'm just pushing bone into bone. Like, or, or you know, it's not a really good stretch, even though I'm getting further. But I know if I just activate my core, squeeze my glutes, that's about my end range of motion for my hips. That's about right there. Okay, once we get to that position, arms up overhead. You can interlace your fingers if you want. And now I'm just gonna tilt my hands to the left. So the camera side and come back up. And again, and we're doing four on each side. Nick, your balance is horrible, mate. Come on, mate, pay attention, concentrate. I see your sister's just working really hard there and you just keep falling over in the middle like a dill. <sighs> Certainly can't see any pushing happening or good. And then let's swap legs. You guys that are lucky, you know, you guys are lucky enough to have your brother and sister there. Make sure you're, uh, make sure you're making the most of it. Go and play some one-on-one -on -one and stuff as well. That's, I think I said that a lot during lockdown last year. There's nothing better. So we're on our left. I've got my left knee down now. Nothing, no better practice, no better conditioning. You can go for a run. You can ride the bike, all that sort of stuff, but nothing better than being able to play some one-on-one. -on -one. So four on either side and then we come out of that hip flexor stretch if you guys need to drink take a drink in your own time here i'm not going to necessarily break for drinks during this session because i want to get through it okay now we've got our loaded ankle mobility so we're starting to move into um, some positions where we're going to come off the ground a little bit soon so we're starting to build from very much on our back flat on our back lying down up into some really like sport specific movements, okay? So our, our loaded ankle mobility, what that looks like is we're in this lunge again. Sorry if you came out of that. We're in this lunge. If you're still doing your hip flexors, keep, keep doing that, you'll be able to catch up. So we're in this lunge position. We're gonna put a little bit of gentle pressure now, not, flex, not, not working our hip flexor, but we want that knee to come over that toe, okay? It's now becoming a little bit more common to work that knee over, over our toes when we're doing lunges and even squats. We don't want to, it's not a, it's not a faux pas. We don't want to avoid this movement because it's a fairly common movement in sports. So we need to work our Achilles through this joint range of motion. Now, if that, if that is enough for your Achilles and your lower calves, that's enough of a stretch, just stop there, okay? Because that's still loading some weight through that Achilles, pushing down, keeping that. I've got my left leg here keeping my left heel on the ground. If you want to go to that next level, we're into a loaded um, uh, calf stretch where we actually step up from that position. Okay, so we'll actually drive up, we'll lunge back, we load the Achilles and the calf, and then we push up. Okay, it doesn't have to be explosive, but just go from that lunge position, loading that calf up, drive your knee up, and then sit back down to that lunge, sit out of that stretch. Five on either side should be plenty. So we're really loosening up that lower calf. Oh, pushing forward, loading. Up we come. Excellent. Good. Five on either side. I can see you guys doing that, doing really well. Oh, and up. Good, good, good. I'm going to watch the last couple. Good job, Riley. Perfect, mate. 
get that loading, try and keep that heel down. Good, Cody, try and keep your back straight. Good job, Scout. Good job, Kira. Hold on, Kira. Can't see you, Matty Shacklock, but I'm sure you're doing it well. You're a smart lad. Good job, Aiden. Good. Good, Kira. Good job, guys. That's perfect. Good, Jack and Laura. Good to see you here, mate. Get some weight through that Achilles push up. Good job, Good job Tommy Man. Good, Taylor. Good job, Fletch. Good job, Caleb. All right, once we've done five on either side, now we're just going to sit down into a, almost like what we call a butterfly position, but it's essentially it's just like a, a groin stretch, okay? Oop. Someone wrote me a message. It's always exciting. Oh, it's okay. You don't have to tell me when you're done. We're doing these in our own time, guys, but I appreciate the competitiveness. So we're feet together. So you might want to use, I think I used a, a weight last week. You can use your phone. You can use your drink bottle just as a bit of a guide. So you want to give yourself a little bit of a guide. What we're going to do is we're going from this groin stretch position here to then we're going to let, we're going to take our hands away. Now, if you can stay upright like this, awesome. Well done. You're already a step ahead of me. From here, we're going to lift our right leg up and out and over the kettlebell. Or you guys have probably got maybe a drink bottle or phone and then bring it back. Now, you might need to lean back. Okay, you might need to have, have, have your weight behind you like this. That's okay as well. It depends on your anatomy. Okay, if you can sit up like I can here, put a bit of a, a target there. Okay, I've got my kettlebell next to me and now I'm lifting my leg up and around. Oh, I put it a bit too far away. So we're just using that as a bit of a guide. So we're working our hip here through a full range of motion, but it's also loaded. Okay, because we've, we've got the weight of our leg weighing us down. So our hip flexor muscles are active while we're working them through a full range of motion. So we're, we're getting, it's a two for one. We're getting that sort of stability and that strength through our hip, um, but we're still getting uh, that mobility aspect. That's perfect, guys. Good job. Uh, our Achilles, Hunter, good question, is from the base of our heel here. So right at the base of your heel, basically, and then it merges, it becomes, it goes from tendon, 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 and then it goes into your soleus, okay, which is the base of your calf. So it's that springy thing you can press on and it comes back, that's your Achilles. So once we've done five on either side with our butterfly liftoffs, just sitting like a butterfly, out and over, out and over. We're on to our next exercise, which is a standing hip articulation. So we're standing up. Oh, sorry. No, actually, stay down. It's a posterior liftoff. I forget the posteriors. So this one's a really good one. Again, you can use your drink bottle or something as a guide. You want to put your hands. You're not going to put your face quite flat on the ground just yet. Okay, you just got your head raised, but you, you want to touch, like have your hands here and that's where you'd want to put your drink bottle or something like that. From here, what we're doing is we're going to do five on each leg. I'm going to do my left leg first because it's close to the camera. Squeeze that left glute and try and bring it up and over a drink bottle or a phone. Okay, so again, we're going almost like the reverse of our butterfly lift off in that we're loading. So we're squeezing that left glute, trying to keep our stomach on the ground and we're bringing that leg out and around and out to the side. Okay, five on each side. So you'll start to get a little bit of a burn in your glutes. Got a question there. We finish, we'll finish in about five minutes, Colton. We've got three exercises to go, mate. It's always a good sign when kids are asking when we finish. You must be having a great time, Colton. <laughs> Sorry if I'm boring you, mate. All right, so I'm on my right leg here and I'm kicking up and over. So, What's that, what's that, mate? It's to, it's to play one on one with my family or something. Oh, that's that's all right, mate. I was only joking. I know you've probably got other stuff to do. This session will only ever go till five o'clock, I reckon. So, Taylor, just make sure you keep that leg straight when you're lifting up. See, yours is bending a bit like that. Keep it straight if you can. That that will make it a little bit easier, and you can go out and around like that if you need to. But try and straighten it. Once we've done that one, guys, that's our posterior liftoff. 
we're up and we're into what's called a standing um, circular movement with our hips. So a car, hip car, it's called. So we're standing up. Sorry, now we can actually get up off the ground. And all we're doing here is it's that open the gate, close the gate movement with our hips. So we drive that. I'm on my right. Got my right knee. I'm driving my right knee. Knee up. I open it up and come around as, as wide as I can. And then I bring it back around and I close the gate. Now, I'm not a great example here because I lean to one side a little bit. Try not to tilt too much to one side. Okay, don't. If you're leaning just to get a little bit more range of motion, it's that's not what we want to do. It's fake range of motion. Okay, we want to just work trying to stay as upright as possible. Open the gate, close the gate, five on each side. Okay. So again, try and one of the coaching cues I was given was if you imagine your hips like there is a bowl of water, right? So if you were to slice me in half here, imagine there's a bowl of water there, don't spill the water, right? So if I, if I tilt like that, water's gonna come flushing out here. Don't spill the water. Keep it, keep that pelvis nice and stable. And that is a really good sign of good core strength. Translates really well to other athletic movements. Up and over. Five on each leg, really good. All right, last, yeah, last exercise. So we've made pretty good time here. Last exercise is our squat progression. So really quickly what we do, up overhead, I like to start from up overhead with my hands. Okay, I, I bend at the hips. So, so this is one of the rare times where bending at your hips is good, doing like a deadlift or doing a stretch. Okay, we're gonna to touch our toes. If you can't touch your toes, that's okay. Bend your knees and come down until you can wrap your hands under your feet, but don't stand on your palms. Just get your fingertips under your, under your toes. Then from there, we're going to bring our bum down as low as we can. Now I come off the ground with my heels because I don't have great range of motion through my Achilles, but you might be able to sit all the way down into a squat without your heels coming up. That's terrific. From here, so I'll spin to the front again. From here, I'm gonna keep my left hand under my foot and my left elbow pressed into my left knee. I'm gonna rotate and turn and look up at my hand and point my hand to the roof and look up and breathe, come back, flip it under my toes, press into my left, uh, my right elbow and twist my left arm up and look at the sky and come back. Then I'm gonna stand, or I'm gonna lift my hips, hamstring stretch again, stand up. Okay, that's one full rep. You only have to do three of these, I reckon. It says five on the sheet, but I reckon three of these is enough. So again, hammy stretch. Try and keep your back straight. Come down, bring your butt down. If you've got to come onto your toes, that's not too bad for this stretch because it's not weighted. Press that elbow, left elbow into your left leg, twist. Flip that hand under, twist. Right elbow into the right leg, twist. Hamstring stretch again, stand up straight. Good stuff, guys. Last one, do it side on. Hammy stretch, down, twist right. Keep left hand under, place it under right hand now. Left hand, twist, good rotation through our spine. Stand up, little hammy stretch and stand up straight. Awesome, that's the end of our session, guys. So I think we're bang on five o'clock. So we'll get that done every week in probably half an hour. You guys should be nice and loose, nice and activated now. Um, if you've got a hoop, if you're lucky enough to have access to one or if you can get to a school or whatever you might be able to do, go get some shots up, go kick the footy, play tennis, whatever you do, just stay active, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow morning. Hoop oh, fit. You get, you get a good sweat tomorrow. See you, 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 see Bye, Bye again, Alex. See you, mate. Bye. See you, Aiden. See you, Alex. Thank you. You're all, well done, Haley. Good stuff. See you, mate. See Thank you, you. Bye. Thank no you. No worries, Aiden. Good on you, mate. See you guys.